So let us prove the validity of the arguments that is P implies R, R implies S, yes, T or not of S, yes, not of T or U, not of U. So from these premises you have to generate not of P is true. So let us make three columns that is step number, statements and the reason. So we will start the step numbers from 1, 2 until whatever we arrive at the conclusion. And in the statement, we'll use which of these statements we'll be writing. And in the reason, we'll write what is the reason for arriving at the answer. So first, we'll consider first two premises, P implies R and R implies S. So these are premises. So in the reason, we have written premise. Then by using P implies R and R implies S and the law of syllogism, we can arrive at P implies S. So it, this will be your second step. Then consider the next uh, premise which is uh, T or not of S. And now this I can write it as not of S or T by using commutative law for this third step. Now not of S or T is nothing but S implies T. So therefore I have written 4 and 4 implies S implies T. And now using another premise T not of T or U. I have uh, written not of t or u and this is equivalent to t implies u. So now by using step 5 and 7 that is s implies t and t implies u and the law of syllogism I can arrive at s implies u which is written at step 8. Now step 2 and 5 so it is p implies s and s implies t and law of syllogism I can arrive at p implies t so which is written here. Next by using step 9 and 7, so that is P implies T and T implies U, I can arrive and syllogism, I can arrive at P implies U. And uh, we have one more premise, not of U. And uh, if you are using this not of U and the law of uh, modest less, that is not of U is true. When not of U is true and P implies uh, U is true, which implies not of P will also be true. So, we can conclude by that. That is using 10, 11 and modest 11. I can write it as not of P. So, this is how I can prove the validity of the given argument. So, let us uh, see what is that modest tolerance which we have used. So, this is also called as method of denying. So, this modest tolerance it tells that P implies Q is true, not of Q is true, therefore not of P. So, since uh, not of Q is true, Q has to be false. So, this Q is false. And uh, P implies Q whole thing is true. So, which implies P has to be false. So, this is what we call it as modest tolerance. So, we will use one example. So, if P implies R and R implies yes, I can say P implies S yes by using modest uh, law of syllogism. Next, uh, this T or not of yes, I can write it as uh, and not of t or u i can write it as not of t and uh, not of u so using not of t or u and not of u i can write it as not of t and using not of t and t or not of yes i can arrive at not of yes and using p implies s and not of s i can arrive at not of p so this is another way of reasoning the same previous example so order doesn't matter so you have to arrive at the conclusion that is the thing in proving the validity of the argument so this is another reasoning for the same problem next is a fallacy so p implies q is true and q is true therefore so that is here, if Margaret Thatcher is a president of US, then she is at least 35 years old and Margaret Thatcher is at least 35 years old. Therefore, Margaret Thatcher is the president of US. So this is an example for the fallacy. So what is the meaning here is, if P implies Q is true and Q is true, so we cannot conclude P. This is a false. Why? Because Q is true. So, when the right hand side is true and for the implication to be true, the P could be either true or false. We cannot conclude only P is true. So, this is a wrong thing. We call it as a fallacy. Another fallacy what 
but uh, we can see here many people will do mistake here is p implies q is true and not of p is true at that time if it is if you say that uh, not of q then this is also false because not of p is true which implies p is false when p is false so q could be either true or false we cannot conclude not of q so this is another example for fallacy so this is on the modus ponens which is fallacy so example here is if 2 plus 3 is 6 then 2 plus 4 is 6 so 2 plus 3 is not equal to 6 therefore 2 plus 4 is not equal to 6 this is an example for fallacy on modus ponens so this is an example for fallacy on modus tollens next rule of inference is a rule of conjunction so what this rule of conjunction tells you is that if p is true as well as q is true then i can definitely say p and q is also true because both p and q are true for this uh, and to be true and which is true here so then the next is rule of disjunctive syllogism so what here it says is that p or q is true so when p or q is true either p is true or q is true or both is true and suppose not of p is true which means p is false when p is false and we know that p implies uh, p or q is uh, true so which implies q has to be true to make p or q has true so this we call it as disjunctive syllogism next is the rule of contradiction which implies not of p implies false if it is true therefore p so how we can arrive at this here is so not of p implies false so this whole thing uh, this is zero so when uh, not of p implies zero is true which implies p has to be true next is a uh, proof of contradiction that is to prove that this implication we prove that negation of this implication to q implies false so if you want to disprove that is a proof by contradiction what we consider is the negation of this will lead to a fallacy this is nothing but it is a con uh, contradiction so we will consider the negation of the implication and we arrive at the false So now the next question prove the validity of the argument p implies r not of p implies q q implies yes so we have to prove that not of r implies yes so again we write it as a three column step statements and reason so we consider each of the premises that is first we consider not of p implies q as a premise and q implies yes as another premise and by using one and two and the law of syllogism so we can arrive at not of p implies q and q implies yes implies not of p implies yes and we consider next p implies as another premise and we can consider the we know that implication and the contrapositive are always equivalent so the p implies r i can write it as not of r implies not of p which is a contrapositive of the statement 4 so now using the uh, 3 as well as 5 that is not of p implies yes and uh, not of r implies not of p i can arrive at not of r implies yes so this is what we have arrived at the conclusion now the next one prove the validity of the argument here p implies q q implies r and yes not of r or not of t or u P and T therefore U. So now we can consider P implies Q and Q implies R and S. We can uh, get it as P implies R and S. So you have to make three columns and write the rules and the step what you have used. So this is uh, if you consider these are the two premises and you can see that uh, by using law of syllogism you can get P implies R and S. So when r and s uh, r and s is true r has to be true and s has to be true by using the previous uh, which is called as rule of uh, conjunction 
conjunction. So now if you consider uh, not of R or not of T or U, so we can say that not of T or U since uh, not of R is uh, r is true so not of r is false so when it is false so this whole thing is depending on the right hand side so therefore not of t or u so now using p and t so we can write p is true and t is true so when p is t a true and t is true q has to be true so q is true and r is true yes is true therefore not of t is true so now by using t is true not of t will be false for not of uh, t or you, you has to be true. So this is how we have proved uh, arrived at you. So and uh, as I want to say that this is not the only way you can try in multiple ways and arrive at the you. And uh, there is no, that's what here we are concluding, no systematic way to prove except by the truth table. So but uh, the drawback of the truth table is that the number of rows of the truth table depends on the number of variables. But uh, in case of using the rules of inference, you can reduce the number of steps. So these are some of the exercises which we are going to consider in some next uh, example. Some of them we will be proving. Thank you.